Thanks for tuning into our podcast. We love having you here, and it's our mission to bring you all the latest and greatest tips, skills, and know-how to make you the best that you can be. We know that you have it in you, and we're going to show you how. Now, now, let's get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Pair Affair today. In today's story, as we get into our story, and it's entitled, Share Your Information with Other People to Bless Them. As I look at this story and as I hear this story, it's a great little story how we have to release daily reminders that there's people out there who we have to encourage, we have to support um, in our daily ways as we go around, as we go about our day. And so let's listen to our story. We'll get back to some things that we agreed with, some things that were kind of confusing and some things that were, you know, just stood out to us. So enjoy the story. We'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you. Mr. Phillips was just getting ready to leave his office and he remembered that his wife had asked him to bring one kg of bananas. When he stepped out, he saw an ill-looking old lady across the road. She was selling fresh bananas on the street. Mr. Phillips usually buys bananas from a grocery shop few blocks away from his office but since he was in hurry to reach home today, he thought about buying them from across the road only. He went to the old lady and asked her the price. She quoted $7 per 1 kg. He told, but the store where I usually buy from gives them for $5 per 1 kg. Can you not give me for the same price? The old lady told, No sir, I can not afford to match that price. I can sell them to you at $6 per 1 kg. That's best I can afford to give you for. Mr. Phillips told her, Never mind. He left in his car towards the usual grocery shop. He went inside and picked up a good bunch of bananas. He went to the cashier to pay for them but he was surprised when the cashier told him that price per 1 kg is $10. He told the cashier, I have been buying bananas from here only for some years and this is a steep price increase, can't you offer me a better deal for being a loyal customer? The manager overheard him and came there. He told Mr. Phillips, sorry sir but our prices are fixed, we do not bargain. Mr. Phillips felt a little bad with that flat attitude. He thought for a second and put those bananas back. He went back to the old lady. She recognized him instantly and told him, Sir, I can't match that price, I won't be able to earn any profit. Mr. Phillips told her, Don't worry about the price, I will pay you $10 per kg. Now, give me 2 kg. The old lady got very happy. She packed 2 kgs of bananas and said, I can't take $10 but I will take $7 per kg. I appreciate your kindness. She also told him, my husband used to own a small fruit shop but he got very sick. We have no child or any relatives who could support us. We had to sell his shop to cover his medical bills but he could not survive. Tears were flowing from her eyes. She said, but now to support myself I am trying to sell what I can afford to buy and sell, so I can survive for what's left of my life. Mr. Phillips told her, do not worry, you are doing good and from tomorrow on, I will only buy bananas from you. He pulled out his wallet and gave her $100 extra and said, take this, bring more different fruits to sell tomorrow, consider this an advance payment for fruits I will be buying from you. You can earn more if you have more choices of fruits to sell. The old lady thanked him. Later, he recommended many of his colleagues to buy fruits from the lady which they did. And with the support from Mr. Phillips and many other buyers, she made a better living. Moral. Often we choose to go in big malls or big grocery shops for shopping. We always pay the fixed price without bargaining. That is fine as we all have choices and people who run their business have their liabilities too. However, we need to spare a moment and think that why we have no courage or reason to bargain while shopping at big shops and why we try to bargain heavily with small street vendors? Think wisely. Always be helpful and supportive to someone who works hard to earn and has a need for it. Think. 
what Mr. Phillips had thought for a second and why he decided to buy from the old lady. Welcome back from the story. Very interesting story how this man was given a task. The problem was he was given a task of getting one kilogram of bananas to take home. And it seems like a simple task in the beginning, just getting some bananas as you, you, you know, you sniff and other calls. You say, hey, as you come home, please come pick up some bananas. You don't have to do much. Just come pick up some bananas. And and then, you know, that's it. But it was a bigger thing than just picking up bananas. As he went to the first person, he realized he went to this lady on the corner who was selling bananas. And she had a certain price. And he didn't really agree with the price at that time. And so he tried to negotiate with her and, and try to tell her, okay, this is the price I have. And she tried to tell him that, hey, this is, I'm buying it at a certain rate. If I give it to you at a more discount rate, I'm really not making a profit. I'm kind of wasting my time here. We all had that situation where we want to sell a product or we want to get rid of a product, but we don't want to just give it away. So then he went to the supermarket. As he went to the supermarket, as he went to the supermarket, he realized he's been a loyal customer to the supermarket. Probably got one of those little scan things that give you little points off on your gas or whatever. And he talked to the manager and said, hey, those, these, you know, these, these uh, bananas are really high. The manager looked at him and like, you know what? They are, but that's what we can do. And he didn't want to, he said, we're not going to negotiate with you if you don't like it. You know, you don't buy him here. So he went back to the lady and told her everything that, you know, how she's going to help him, how he's going to help her and give her some suggestions so that she can have various fruits out there. And it's a great story how no matter what she did or what she was doing, people are going to come in your way and they're going to they're going to enhance your life. They're going to make your life a lot better. But if you, you got to stick with your morals and you got to stick with things. You got to stick with it. A lot of times we want to just maybe make that quick sale, but we don't really gain anything out of it. As we are going through our life and people are, we have to make decisions about how we spend our money. And as I heard someone that told me this a couple of years ago, that they have three options to do with, with your money. You can spend it, you can share it, or you can invest it. So as we go and we look and we share certain information and we share certain things, it's very important as you, as a person who is trying to get bigger and better out there, that if you have good information, as you, the guy got that good information, he says, this is a wonderful lady down the street. She's going to have all these various fruits and she is going to make your day a lot better. So as we go and we have people who are going to continue to, to make us a little bit more aware of what we need to get done in life. It's rather nice. It's rather nice to hear a story where someone is helping someone get a lot better, understand what they need to do. And as we go and we listen and we talk and as today, you're going to have an opportunity to get someone and enhance someone's life to make someone's life better. And you, your thing, maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, I can't make someone's life. My life is miserable right now. No, you can make it better. You can make sure that that person is blessed. I was scrolling through my Instagram account today and one of the people I follow, he he saw this guy outside working, working very hard, just out in the sun, just working, sweeping up. It wasn't his property, just working, just sweeping up, doing his thing. And then he has, he has some shoes at home that he doesn't wear anymore. You know, I grew them, didn't need them anymore. They weren't, they were really nice looking shoes. So he said, you know what, I'm going to, you know, this guy's out here working. He's trying to do the best he can. So the next day he saw this guy and um, he gave him some, you know, basically brand new shoes, gave him some brand new shoes. And the look on this guy's face was like, wow, someone actually noticed me. Someone actually noticed that I was doing something nice for the neighborhood. And it's about sharing. This podcast day is about sharing. Sharing some words of wisdom. Just seeing that person as you pass them. Have a great day. How are you doing today? And just talking to someone, just wondering how everything's going. I know yesterday, as my son and I were out there, um, we were out at the park, 
and they remodeled the park. They made it a little bit better. And they took down some things. But the thing that there's this goal, there's this basketball goalpost, and you can adjust it. But you have to have a certain little wrench with it. So the last couple of days, I, I noticed this gentleman and his grandson. They were coming by, and we said hi. And my son said hi to them. Then we saw them the next day, and they saw us out there playing basketball. And they go, wow. He, he, he really likes playing basketball. I said, yeah, it made a big difference when they got these goals, these basketball goals that we can adjust so I can adjust them. And I can I showed him the, the wrench that I had. I said, well, I, I keep this wrench in my pocket so I can adjust it so he can shoot baskets. And he had these grandsons with him. They came over and they started shooting baskets. He said, I, I never knew that my grandsons like playing basketball. He says, well, I, I've been looking and trying to find it from trying to get them. And there are like three or four boys. I mean, trying to get them, you know, out the house and doing things now that I know how to adjust this simple little basketball goal that I can bring them here and I can wear them out, out down here. He said, thank you. But as he was leaving, he told his wife that was in front of him, he said, hey, someone shared some information with me about, about lowering the goalposts. We can bring the grandkids here tomorrow. So they had another option. We shared some advice with people. People are constantly sharing things with me. People are constantly telling me this and this, this and that. That's what's good about the internet now is that we have so much advice and so many things that we can share with people to make our lives better. We can share recipes. You can share how to do things. You can share advice. There's so many things that you can do to make your life better just by sharing information. And the thing is about sharing it's just sharing. You're not trying to hide it. You're not trying to hoard it. It's just a simple gesture of giving somebody a, some help. And I know some people don't want to share. Some people really don't want to give out all their information. And I see this a lot. But I realized, and I heard this a long time ago, when you share, that means you, you really care about what you're doing. You really care about the next person. And you're going to be enhanced a lot more. But if you're that selfish person who is, you have all this information and you hide it, and you hide it, and you hide it because you don't want anybody else to use it. Most likely people are going to come to you when they really need you. And I'm always I'm not saying I know it all. There's people who share things with me to make my life a lot easier. I know as I'm, I'm working on fixing, um, fixing a dryer. I'm not going to take all the credit for it because I had to go and find some, sharing some information and how to pull it apart, how to put it back together. And it's made my life a lot easier. But if I didn't take the chance that someone didn't share this information with me, I'd be up the creek. But that's the thing about life and think about sharing information. As we look at this podcast, look at this, this narrative that we, we looked at earlier today. People will tell you and they will share their information with you, but you got to spend time. You got to stop and listen to them and listen to their story because everyone that's walking around you, they have a unique story that they might want to share with you. One of the things I'm doing is I'm becoming a better listener. I'm becoming a better listener. And as I become a better listener, I realize I have to do certain things. I have to make sure that I make eye contact with the person. I got to make sure that I am. As a person is talking and as a person is, I have to ask questions. That's just checking for understanding. Let the person know that I am engaged in their conversation. I am enjoying their conversation. And there's a lot of times the conversations, they could mean nothing. They could be little, little tidbits about not much. But if I'm not willing to have an open mind about these certain conversations, I'm going to be in trouble. I know a couple of weeks ago, I was looking, my door was stuck. My door to the office was stuck and I was trying to figure out, was it the key? Was it what's going on? And so one of the people that I talked to on a regular basis, they were walking by and I was trying to stick my key in there and he was saying, Hey, you know what? All you got to do is put some WD-40 in there. That'll clear that problem up real quick for you. So the next day I, I got, went home and grabbed me some WD-40 and I said, eh, it may work. It may not work. I don't know. So I grabbed some WD-40, sprayed it in there. I think my son and I were, were here at the office and we sprayed the WD-40 in the keyhole and he laughed and giggled. And then we slid the key in and he said, oh, it does work. But that little tidbit of information about putting some WD-40 in a key, I kind of knew it, 
but someone had to remind me that that's the way to fix that problem. Because a lot of times we think that, oh, well, that person really doesn't know much. That person can't help me in my life. I'm better than that person. There's so many people out in this world who can show you how to organize things, how to get yourself together. I know the little chores that I've been recently doing. I was talking to someone and they said, you know what, if you do it this way, it can be a lot better. If you do it another way, you're going to struggle a little bit. He said, you have everything you need to succeed with this little project you're doing, but you got to be smart about it. You got to manage your time better. You got to organize the materials a lot better. And once you do that, the process is really easy. And that's what it's all about is you have some information. And we always have people, and to be honest with you, you have people who will give you information all the time. They're going to give you so much information. And they're, they're, they come up, sometimes some people come across as know-it-alls. They can tell you how to do this and tell you how to do that. But sometimes when people don't want to hear your information, you got to kind of back off a little bit. Just back off, let them talk a little bit, but you can't go to them all the time. And as we look and we talk about certain things, sharing is a, a thing that I'm trying to learn how to do better. I'm learning how to teach my son, teach people around me. I know the people that I am constantly in contact with. I'm trying to be around people who share. I'm not trying to be around a bunch of people who are selfish because when you're around a pe bunch of people who are selfish, it kind of rubs off on you and you're, you end up acting like, like that in the, in the long run. As we talk and we listen, as we get better, as you go out today, the next day, look for opportunities to share certain things. Look for opportunities to help someone. Look for opportunities. to, And the thing is, look for opportunities when people are sharing things with you to help you throughout your life. I know this podcast would not be possible if all the people out there would not have shared a lot of information with me over the Internet, um, talking to me directly. Because there, there's certain people who, to be honest with you, they really want you to do well because they get a sense of satisfaction there. I know there's a lot of times as I walk and I listen to certain things in my life, I'm just like, wow, how did I make that happen? It wasn't me. It was because people gave me information how to do certain things. And I was receptive to this new information. I opened up my ears. I opened up my heart and I said, okay, this is how we're going to do this. And it's going to be fine. But if you're closed minded, you don't want to think and you want to do it your way, it's going to be difficult for you. It's going to be extremely difficult for you. But just remember to keep yourself together, keep yourself together. And as you keep yourself together, I said it three times, continue to enhance yourself and make yourself better. Share the things that you need to do. Listen to people better. And you'll be quite all right. But if you don't, you're going to have a hard time. And sometimes you have to learn the hard way. So as we continue and as we listen to all the wonderful comments that are coming in from all over the country and all over the world, thank you for dropping by the Parafair today. And we want to say um, there's a listener out there and, and that's, that's really touching my heart. And they live in the state of Virginia. And so I want to thank them uh, in particular for listening to the Parafair from the beginning. And they continue to listen to us every day. So thank you again for the listener out in Virginia. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. This week's episode has come to an end. But the fun doesn't have to stop here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, head over right now to Twitter and Facebook and like, share, and get involved. Join us next time.